We present Deep Residual Model Predictive Control for Real-World Social Navigation. This single sensor robot is running an RL agent trained directly in the real world with less than 4 hours of data without any simulation being used. Let's see how it's done. It all starts with the Auster OS0-128 LiDAR. The Auster LiDAR generates massive point clouds at 10 Hz where the reflectivity image is comparable to low resolution cameras. With the point cloud, we can use LiDAR teach and repeat for fast deployment in novel environments. All we have to do is drive our desired path once, raise a couple of virtual corridors to ensure safety from static obstacles, and then teach and repeat can localize to the path and track it using MPC. Part two is adding in humans. We run off-the-shelf YOLO X on the reflectivity image and use the LiDAR's depth information to track humans in the world space. Unlike simulators, which assume non-realistic and cooperative human models, humans in the real world may be uncooperative and their motion is probabilistic. So rather than explicitly modeling humans, which is very difficult, we use reinforcement learning to learn from interaction. Now there's one major limitation of RL. It requires a lot of data. To greatly speed up learning, we integrate MPC with model-free RL to bring us deep residual model predictive control, or otherwise called Dr. MPC. Part of this issue is that on initialization, regular DRL has random and unsafe behavior versus Dr. MPC, which starts with MPC path tracking behavior. On the left here, regular DRL wafts around and hits the corridor. Residual DRL can make some progress, but our Dr. MPC model can already track the path at model initialization. By intelligently leveraging MPC path tracking, we show in simulation that our models learn substantially faster than regular DRL and residual DRL models. The basics of Dr. MPC are that we first individually learn and compute the MPC action and six human avoidance actions. We then learn which human avoidance action to select and learn a fusion parameter alpha. The final action is simply a weighted sum between the two individual actions. When alpha is zero, the action is purely MPC. When alpha is one, it fully prioritizes human avoidance. In only four hours of data from a real world system, we have a robot that can do this. We show all key state and internal model information for real-world demonstrations. In the following clips, we see Dr. MPC weaves around static humans and deviates from its path and slows down when encountering moving humans. Then, when no humans are interfering, Dr. MPC learns to simply follow the MPC action as indicated by the low alpha value. In contrast, a sim to real Dr. MPC model performs much worse because it does not account for difficulties in the real world, like processing delays from tasks and sensor processing noise. Let's watch some more Dr. MPC examples when it was trained in the real world. In these scenes, we see Dr. MPC easily task switches between human avoidance and path tracking through the alpha term. Unlike residual DRL, which always has the MPC action influencing the final action, Dr. MPC dynamically adjusts how much of the MPC action to use. All in all, we show Dr. MPC greatly accelerates learning, which enables direct real-world training, leading to proficient social navigation. Please read the paper if you would like more details. There's still lots of work to be done for real-world social navigation, so stay tuned. Thanks for watching.